There's a reason why 401ks and individual retirement accounts are called tax deferred. You pay no taxes while accumulating this money, but Uncle Sam will eventually want those tax dollars when funds are withdrawn. Welcome to the world of required minimum distributions, commonly referred to as RMDs. When you turn 70 and a half, RMDs must be taken from all of your qualified accounts, including IRAs. This rule exists to make sure the tax benefits of these accounts don't extend indefinitely. Whether or not you need this money, you're forced to drain your retirement accounts and start using these assets. RMDs have been referred to as a double straightjack. First, the government requires you to pull money out of your accounts when you don't necessarily want to, and then you have to pay taxes on the withdrawals. You worked hard to save this money. Why should the government dictate how and when you spend it? You know what they say, when the government gives you lemons, make lemonade. We've created a solution to end this RMD dilemma. You can take the required withdrawals and still leave an increased legacy. With the volatility of the stock market and today's low interest rate environment, leaving a legacy has become more difficult than ever before. Let me give you an idea of how this solution works. You have a 70-year-old man with $100,000 in his IRA. Because of stock market volatility and the low interest rate environment, for illustrative purposes only, we're going to assume a 0% return on his account. As we discussed, at age 70 and a half, he will need to withdraw 3.65%, which is $3,650. Each year thereafter, the RMD percentage will increase. Do you see where I'm going with this? Unless you're earning in excess of the withdrawal amount, this asset is in a death spiral. Based on those assumptions, over the next 15 years, he would be forced to withdraw approximately $55,739, leaving only $44,261 in his account. Not exactly an ideal scenario for the spouse. Unfortunately, we can't change the law, and we can't hide from the IRS, but we can ensure legacy is left for your loved ones. By implementing a legacy optimization solution, we can unzip the RMD double straightjacket. How do we do this? It's simple. By utilizing a unique guaranteed minimum death benefit rider, you can take RMDs and still leave an increased legacy. Here's an example of how this works. Using our previous scenario, we have a 70-year-old man with $100,000 in his IRA. Only this time we're going to use our optimization solution. Allow me to paint a picture for you. Think of it like a stack of coins. We know that the RMDs must come out, but with the optimization solution in place, there is a minimum amount of interest that goes into the stack, let's say 4%. And the end result? The level of coins stays the same, thus maximizing the amount of money you can leave for your heirs. Just like the first example, over the next 15 years, he still takes out the same $55,739 and has the same accumulation value of 44,261. However, because he utilized our optimization solution, he now has a death benefit of $101,714 to leave to his spouse or heirs. Let us show you how you can avoid the double straight jacket of RMDs and leave an increased legacy for your loved ones. Call today for more information.